Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. So as my title, I am gonna be doing the home birth kit uh, kind of supplies that you kind of need. So previously I've had a home birth. It didn't really go to plan and that was purely because my labor was so quick that I didn't really have chance to use anything. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna try again, third time round, third time lucky. Um, and I had my pool delivered, so I'm hoping for a home birth with um, a birthing pool um, or a water birth, should I say. And yeah, I've had that delivered. In my area, you actually like hire the liner. So they give you the big pool to blow up and then you hire the liner that goes inside the pool for 40 pounds. So if you don't use it, you get your money back. And that's what happened last time. We didn't end up using it. Um, but if you do use it, obviously, then you've just paid 40 pounds for it. They also send you Entinox. So I've got two canisters here of Entinox, which is gas and air. Again, I didn't use any of this last time. So um, yeah, it just depends really. Um, but it's good obviously to have, um, I use gas and air with my first labor. And yeah, when the midwife actually comes, they always bring a couple of bottles in their, in their uh, boot of their car as well so there should be loads to go around the only thing that I've noticed which I remember from last time actually is that they don't actually give you any breathing supplies until they get here so you can't actually use it until the midwife arrives so yeah um, but yeah I've got two two entinoxes um, I've got a little list here of what I've actually got so I've got the pool which is this this is like a little thing I have to fill out but the pool's in there it's called a birth pool in a bob in a box eco and then I've got my liner that's what the pool looks like it's got like a little um, inflatable stool that's attached to it inside so you can kind of kneel on it or sit on it this is the liner so this is what I've basically paid 40 pounds for that goes inside the pool um, and then other things that you'll need I will actually leave a good list in the description bar um, but other things that you need they recommend um, shower curtains to put underneath the pool and just in the area that you're birthing and then covering that with towels or like a good sheet or something like that um, we've decided against shower curtains they only suggest that because they're just super cheap but graham actually picked up tarpaul tarpauling um multi-purpose it's basically just a big plastic sheet that he picked up from the local i think it's elliot's or you know local like um building place um and it's just in one sheet so we don't have to worry about like um you know at the end just you could just pick it up in one big sheet and just wrap everything together instead of picking up loads of different shower curtains so um yeah a, a nice waterproof sheet is recommended obviously and then loads of old towels to cover it so it's slip free because obviously you don't want to be slipping around anywhere i also i've got quite a few old towels and a couple of old sheets um but i also bought two new towels most of my towels are white and obviously having a brand new baby you don't want to be wrapping it up in a white towel so i bought these two dark gray ones um from asda they're only four pounds each they've been washed and they're ready to go and obviously they're dark gray so hopefully i can just wash them and you know reuse them so i've got two um sort of large towels and then i also bought a couple of uh, washcloths as well you could just i don't know for yourself when you're in labor or after you know when you give birth putting on to baby if you want to stay in the pool a little bit longer so other things i've got on my list i have a hose so our pool is going to be like right here in our lounge our bathroom is just there and we're going to have a hose that attaches to obviously fill up the pool so a hose attachment obviously is useful um that is currently outside graham actually bought a new one and he hasn't attached it to the wall yet so we're just going to use that um they also recommend a sieve and a bucket so this is a really old sieve that i was like we might as well just use this i'm not going to buy a new one um and it's one that i don't really use at home very often so um this is a really old sieve yes it's for um you know when you're put through the pushing stage you might let a bowel movement out as well so they just scoop it out and put it in the bucket i also have a bucket outside um 
they recommend a thermometer i actually got this one from the pound store um yeah you just dip it in you can use any sort of thermometer really but this one's super cheap it's basic it's just to keep the, te the temperature obviously at a regular state they don't want it getting too hot or too cold so a thermometer is needed and then also a mirror this one's actually got a crack in it and this one was actually the one that i used or was going to use with violet i kind of dug it out but um if they want to check baby and how the position like how it's crowning or whatever they could just put obviously a mirror in the pool and just it's just easier to see so a handheld mirror is actually quite useful so the only other things that i haven't got here to show you which i've put on my list obviously a water bottle um you're going to need that through labor uh, depending on how long it is um any snacks if you want to have a snack in the pool i mean you probably won't but you know you just don't know how long your labor is going to be have something obviously on hand um uh, i've also put what clothing so just have your clothing ready what whatever you're going to wear in the pool whether it's like just a nursing tank or some people wear like a big t-shirt or a vest top or something uh, just make sure you have that obviously by you and then also just like things like setting the mood so if you're in for a bit of a long labor having candles ready um you know having your favorite sort of uh, music on the lighting um you know whether you're doing hypnobirthing um you can have your music obviously either plugged in or you can have it obviously around your house but um, yeah, just have those things on standby and, and prepared really for what you want during your labour. But that is pretty much, I would say, all you need for a home birth kit or, um, you know, whether you're birthing in a pool or not. Um, yeah, just lots of sheeting, towels. That's pretty much the main things I would say, whether you're having a water birth or not. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed I get my water birth this time. <laughs> And I really hope this has been helpful. I'll leave it all linked. Um, I'll leave it all listed in the description bar, and I will see you all soon.